camera's running. Uh, this video uh, here is um, an explanation of uh, 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 part of a series I'm going to do uh, trying to explain how uh, to uh, make uh, videos uh, of music uh, to do what I do. Um, I, uh, I realize the internet has a lot of stuff that's a waste of time, so I'm going to try to be as quick and methodical as I can on every proce uh, the process I go through. Uh, so this would be a type of typical video that I uh, have done. And um, I'm using Audacity and uh, Shotcut. So if you're uh, using professional equipment or whatever, you're beyond what I need to do. Here's another video that I've done. Um, but I want to get away from that, so... Um, so anyway, uh, Shotcut is open source. Uh, it's a good uh, program to use. Uh, Audacity is especially good. Uh, sound engineers tell me that, uh, that its uh, quality is excellent. Yes, you can pay for sound uh, 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 editing, and, um, and uh, no doubt you get other bells and whistles and, and perhaps superior quality. Um, output. I, uh, I happen to think Audacity is uh, very good and, uh, and so do other people I know, the sound engineer types. A shotcut over here is um, also open source, um, but it, uh, 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 there are objections that I see on the internet uh, about uh, the audio quality, although you can uh, use the uh, uh, Matroska and uh, FLAC uh, envelope version. Uh, which um, uh, uh, it was presumably a, a, a lossless conversion, and um, although there is a, a one place on the internet I saw that unless you use a 24-bit rather than a 16-bit, you may lose something. But uh, you're going to get uh, maybe you just might get better quality than an MP4 uh, using it. So um, I, for this video I'm doing today, I, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Shotcut, and so let's open it up. And uh, I'm going to, uh, we're going to use it. Uh, we're not doing a, uh, well, we will do that later. Let me get rid of it for now. Uh, we're going to uh, use it now to synchronize a, a file uh, that I've done. Um, I'm not going to get into mic placement and how I did the recording uh, with Audacity, but, uh, but that, uh, and I'm not going to get into um, how I uh, did the video on the camera, but I ended up with an MV, MVI file for the uh, camera, from the camera. And uh, we'll put that onto the uh, shot cut. Um, and then from there, I, I be, paste it over to the timeline. If you don't know how to use the timeline, you just open shot cut and hit timeline over here. And so uh, now I've pasted it into the, uh, to the uh, uh, timeline. And uh, uh, it takes a minute for the, this is a long file, nine minutes of, of audio. And here's the end of it, um, the uh, waves of the sound are there. Um, now, um, the reason that I have uh, a separate Audacity file is because the camera, what it produces is um, inferior quality. Um, their mics are pretty good, but they're not uh, perfect. I'm, I'm using a Canon camera here, and actually the mics are, are very good, but they add a little reverb on the, on the music uh, version, which you may not want. So uh, you want to go to uh, Audacity and uh, uh, get some uh, decent mics and do your own. And uh, so that's what we're going to synchronize today. Um, and so I've uh, created the video file here on the timeline. Now to create the audio file, um, hit over here and uh, click on that. And it uh, goes to uh, add uh, audio track. So that's been done here. That's your audio track that I will uh, input the uh, Audacity file that I've created. Um, We'll save that for another video. You have to go to the beginning of the timeline here. Uh, there are two ways to do that. Uh, I'll show you very easily. At the bottom of the timeline over here, uh, you can drag it. But uh, equally easy is to, um, is to hit this um, over here. You can go to zero, click on that, and the arrow will go over. Um, it's not there now. So let me click. Now the arrow's over there. And uh, the... Uh, uh, video is is uh, uh, ready to input the sound uh, file for. Uh, okay, get it to the very beginning or almost to the very beginning. Now um, uh, I'm ready to input the sound file. 
uh, I'm doing this particular one here, uh, Audacity um, exported WAV file. And I'm going to uh, immediately uh, co overwrite, copy it into the audio track, drag it in. You can also copy and paste, but dragging seems to work fine um, into the audio track. Um, now, here's uh, something that uh, a lot of people don't seem to know. Uh, the best way to synchronize is at the end of the music. Uh, and, um, you know, in the old days with Hollywood, they'd clap. You know, that's, that's just so they get the line, and you can match things up to synchronize the sound with the video. But um, what works uh, equally well, if you don't want to you know, have one of those uh, $10,000 clappers, uh, they call, I think they call them clappers, um, uh, you know, and, and no doubt everything in Hollywood's expensive, so, uh, but, uh, but you don't need to use that. Uh, you can just line up the, the uh, sound wave at the end of the video. Uh, is the best place because usually this, the sound trails off to nothing and you can find uh, the portion of the wave that matches easily right at the end. And so um, in this case the you want to always move to the right because you don't want to cut things off at the beginning. So here you are at the end and uh, so the, the sound wave ends on the video track um, uh, first. It ends first which, is be, uh, which means that I began the recording uh, 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 first. So you want to uh, push that, or I, I, I began the recording of the audio first, so there's a little bit more of information on that. So you want to push this um, uh, sound wave to match this one, synchronize it up, and um, this is pretty basic for people that do it, but, uh, but you know, doing it at the end is not hard. Now you notice I, I pointed and dragged, all right, why did it move like that? It moved like that because this um, a counter here was not set to the right spot. So you've got to learn a little bit how to manipulate um, the information on the timeline. So you go down to the lower left here and you can move the, the uh, whole thing over a little bit up by the arrow. And then, now I lost the whole thing. I might have to redo this video. I've never happened, that happened before. My computer has been acting funny. Um, I see what happened. Okay, there's a lot of little tricks with uh, this. Um, sometimes the timeline gets stuck and uh, you want it to float, so uh, if you click on that spot it will float. Uh, something else to learn. I hope that's all it is. Yeah, there it is. Now it's floating. The computer's just going slow. Okay, now we're back to where I was explaining this. Um, and so you push it over a little bit. Uh, now we've got the more or less matched. Um, how did I do that, by the way? Let me explain that. The way you do that is uh, you just uh, uh, click on, uh, point and drag the whole file, which takes a little time because this is a nine minute file. That's part of the reason I had a delay. And until you match up the uh, mountains there, the little sound wave mountains, you see you can move it with the, with the um, holding and dragging. Um, okay, and uh, uh, if you click here, right there, you will get the, the time arrow at that spot, uh, which uh, can be important. Um, and you might have to drag on several times. Now over here, we have uh, the sound on for the video and the sound on for the audio. So you can test. Let's go over here where we can get some sound, and I'm going to play it. And you can test whether um, it's synced in correctly. And I'll push the play button down here. Doesn't seem too bad. Um, okay, if you have a reverb sound, that means you have a little echo. You're slightly off with the sync. These sound waves are not the same. The Canon uh, uh, microphone produced different sound waves than um, uh, the external microphones that I, I used here. Uh, a little bit better quality. Uh, now if you want to uh, expand this, it helps to match up the, the um, sound waves in case you have trouble. So what, the way to expand it is up here with this line. Uh, it's a magnifying glass, shows you how to expand it. So you click on that. It'll take a minute because um, it's a big file. All right, now um, you have a little bit more expanded detail 
on the timelines. They're not going to look the same. It's not, it's not perfect to match up, but um, let's, once more I'll go back to show you and we'll listen to the sound and see how it is. <laughs> the end of the music. Um, the uh, sound, uh, not too much reverb, tiniest amount, you can't be absolutely perfect, but the final check would be to see if the fingers on the video match what you're doing. So uh, one thing to, uh, in looking at that, put it on pause, um, in looking at that I uh, look, look at it two ways. Uh, first um, you want to take the sound off of the video portion and just have the microphone sound. So that you click on that, and now that soundtrack is gone. Now you can uh, uh, click over here so you get a little bit of the music, and move this thing over. And now we can watch the uh, video. Um, or, well, we want to watch the fingers over here, and uh, see how it matches. Better is to uh, look at the fingers on the. Oh, gee, I've got a wrong video for that. Let's see if I can find fingers. Yeah, the thumb uh, right there will uh, demonstrate. Uh, you can. Here, let me get this thing over a little ways. And we'll just watch the thumb. Right there. Uh, watch the thumb. See if it matches the uh, sound. Sometimes it anticipates a little bit, and a little delay looks good. Uh, so you don't have to necessarily be perfect that way. So um, I've shown you how to match up the sound waves. Um, you'll notice when you silence the video one, the sound wave disappears there. And uh, let me show you, dem dem demonstrate, I'll bring it back for a second. And uh, mountains are nicely lined up. I call the mountains, you know, they're sound waves, uh, what they display uh, of the acoustics. And uh, so then um, that's together with it. Uh, you can review it and see if the sound is fine. You can compare the sound that the camera made with the sound that your uh, new mics made. Um, the, this camera uh, provides, as I mentioned, a little bit of reverb, so it sounds warm. And this sounds a little bit more raw, and you can adjust with uh, your own reverb or other filters. Uh, acoustically, with Shotcut Better, is to probably to use Audacity for um, your... Uh, adjustments to the audio that you want, uh, but once you've created your WAV file, there it is. Okay, so uh, now that that's uh, finished, uh, oh, one other thing I want to mention, um, if you lose the track, which happens occasionally for reasons I don't quite understand, you can right-click, uh, get your little hand pointer there, and uh, right-click on it, um, and there's a place where it says Rebuild Audio Waveform. So if for some reason you lose it, try the right-click and go down and hit uh, uh, rebuild audio waveform and uh, magically comes back, uh, which is a good thing. Okay, now that all that's been done, uh, um, you are this is synchronized, and if you don't want to do anything else, which um, I don't want to do now, it's time to export. And uh, exporting is uh, uh, I hit export here. This comes up. Uh, I use the Matroska FLAC to attempt a. F uh, 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 something more uh, lossless than an MP4 version. Uh, MP4 plays on more players uh, with iPads and all that, that's out there. Uh, you have to confirm that uh, Matroska works, but Matroska is arguably superior audio, uh, maybe lossless uh, the, uh, with the FLAC envelope, uh, which comes with the, the codec there. I'll show you now. Uh, so I'm pointing at the format for audio and um, the uh, click on that uh, and go up to Matroska. There's Matroska. Now I'm going to change the codec uh, there to uh, FLAC. Um, I don't recommend necessarily changing anything else. Um, I've experimented a little bit changing the bit rate and the sample rate, um, but it I, I, seems unnecessary, um, at least from what I've seen. Uh, so you're ready to export the file. 
here and um, find a place for it, uh, name it. Um, you must name it MKV in the case of uh, Matroska and uh, save that. Uh, the job is beginning um, it, for the export of the synchronized um, file that you've created on Shotcut um, as a Matroska lossless uh, uh, version with your uh, audio um, uh, which presumably has better quality uh, inserted. Uh, I've got to stop it. Why? Because I didn't turn off the audio um, uh, for the v a video there. So this will teach you something else. You, if you mess up, uh, you um, uh, right click on the job there and you stop it. Okay, that'll stop that job. Eventually it stopped. And then you can remove it. Right click again. Remove the job. It's gone. Okay, so I gotta, I'm going to start over, but I have to correctly uh, eliminate my um, uh, video uh, uh, version of the sound. And now that that's done, now it's ready for the export. I still have the Matroska flak. Uh, I'll give it the same name and by d in doing so it'll ask me if I want to replace the old one so I don't have to worry about the gar garbage on my computer. One already exists. Yes, I'm going to replace it. So that's done. Now I have the new job um, uh, commencing with the, without that uh, audio from the uh, camera mixed in. Okay, so I can, uh, the export, I can X that out because we don't need that visible. And uh, timeline we'll just leave there. So I'll put this on the, uh, 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 minimize it here down to the computer. And we'll wait for it to arrive. When it does arrive, it will arrive here and uh, it will uh, be show up right at that spot as, an, uh, as a synchronized uh, video. And that's the extent of what I'm trying to teach you today. Uh, hopefully uh, this has been helpful and I will do more videos um, on other portions of what I do to uh, produce my music videos later. Thank you.